So, dear boy, the reason Fenris and I brought you here is this. You are a hero. And so, in the grand tradition of all heroes, you need to go where you are most needed. That happens to be Silmaria at this moment. The former king was assassinated a short while back. We have no idea why this was done or even who did it. Thus, you were summoned. Silmaria needs a new king, and thus the right of rulership is about to begin. This right will determine the next ruler for the kingdom. We would like you to enter the right of rulership. It is the most likely way to find the villain behind the nefarious deeds going on in Silmaria. If you choose to accept this mission, you will need to go to the Hall of Kings to speak with Logos, the centaur who is in charge of Silmaria right now. You will enjoy Silmaria. I am certain you will meet some old friends and make new ones. This is an interesting city, and these are interesting times. I've arranged for you to stay at the most amusing inn in Silmaria. Would you like to go there now, or are you ready to head into danger? You may enter the Hall of Kings now. Greetings, Prince of Shapir. I am Logos, counselor to rulers and speaker of Silmaria. Welcome to the kingdom of Silmaria. I have heard much of you from your friends Erasmus and Rakish. Greetings, my friend. It is good to know that you are here. This land needs a hero of your abilities. I trust you understand why you were summoned here. 
The rights of rulership need one more entrant before it can begin. All other competitors are worthy individuals. However, I suspect that these rights will be more dangerous than they are intended. We believe that the one or ones who assassinated the King of Somaria will attempt to make certain the contestant they support will win. You must understand that your life will be in grave danger from the moment you enter the right of rulership. We will be doing everything we can to stop the assassin, but you'll need to be wary. Hero of the lands of Shapir, Tana, and Mordavia, will you enter the rights of rulership? It is an honor to meet you. I am the speaker of Silmaria. I am the voice of the king and of the people. I will make certain that only the most worthy shall attain the rulership of this kingdom. That is my duty and my honor. Rakish and I have been friends for many years. When the king was assassinated, I contacted him through Erasmus for his wise counsel. Both Rakish and Erasmus mentioned you and spoke of your worthiness. The Rites of Rulership is a series of quests that will aid Selmaria. Five individuals will compete to complete these quests. The one who accomplishes the most will be judged worthy to become king. To enter these rites, you must first contribute 1,000 drachmas to the rulership fund. This can be done at the Bank of Silmaria. Your father, the Sultan of Shapir, was informed of this by myself and my wife, and has contributed 300 drachmas toward your entrance in the rites. Erasmus and I have each deposited another 100 drachmas. During the rites of rulership, all quests will be announced one at a time. Some rights can be fulfilled by only one person. Other rights cannot end until all contenders accomplish their assignment. A more detailed explanation of the rights will be given when the rights of rulership begin. We await your entry into the contest. The Bank of Silmaria is located in Town Square. The bank manager will be expecting you and explain the right fund. The Sultan Harun al-Rashid has sent a letter of recommendation about you. He says you would make a most splendid king, to use his words. He also sends you his blessing, and trusts you will choose the future you wish to fulfill. Our kingdom of Silmaria consists of the Isle of Merit and the outlying islands in the center of the Med Sea. The city of Silmaria was built upon the prime port of this island, and is a thriving center of trade for the world. Marit is a large volcanic island that is said to have risen when Atlantis fell. It is mostly rock and seashore, rising steeply to the peaks of Mount Draconis. In the caldera of Draconis is the most inaccessible Lake Moray. The entire island of Marit is the base of Mount Draconis Draconis is too steep to climb, and though there are trails that traverse this island, most of Marit is uninhabited, save for the isolated fishing villages along the coast. Lake Moray rests in the heart of Mount Draconis. It is said to be linked to the sea, for it rises and falls with the moods of the tides. However, few have seen the lake other than by magic. Draconis is unclimbable. Atlantis was a kingdom that sank beneath the sea in a disaster eons ago. It is said that the inhabitants were transformed into tritons and other sea creatures. The city of Silmaria is built on various levels. It was designed as a defensible fortress in the days when wars were more common. However, this city has been a center for peace and prosperity for generations. We have had no need for an army, and have none. Unfortunately, Marit has been invaded by Hesperian mercenaries. They have taken the outlying fishing villages. We do not have the force to drive them away. When was your island invaded? Two days after the king was assassinated. 
We do not presume this is a coincidence. However, Silmaria has the resources to withstand a siege and has never in its history fallen to invasion. 